All right. Remember the uh, Skynet proof of concept demo uh, the other day where you would hit this button and you could turn off or on uh, this light and track presence uh, on the Skynet network. Um, now I've added web sockets so that Skynet is aware of devices uh, connecting or disconnecting in real time and um, uh, to, to the Skynet network and what you can also do is through the uh, API you can also issue real-time uh, commands to um, a particular device on the network or uh, the network of devices or drones or, or whatever you're, you're connecting to Skynet. So let me show you. So um, again on the left panel is uh, the Skynet uh, server running Node.js and then on the uh, the top right here is uh, what is what I'm running uh, for uh, the Arduino here. So watch, I'm gonna start up the Arduino Skynet button. So now you get this little alert saying, "Hey, I'm ready." Now what it does here? Now check it out. Skynet is aware that this device just came online. So if you look at Skynet, it says WebSocket connection detected, and it sent a request to identify yourself. So when uh, the Arduino gets the identify yourself, it says, hey, um, my uh, UUID, my device ID is this, uh, GUID, and um, Skynet registers the socket ID to the, the GUID. So now we know a real-time uh, heartbeat and which device uh, ID is, is uh, connected to the heartbeat. So now, what you can do is interesting things like uh, from the, the, the API here, we can say things like, uh, I'm going to issue a blink command to start uh, this, this uh, Arduino blinking. And notice it's, it's a post API on uh, the endpoint messages, and then you pass it the UUID, and then you know, a JSON message of what, you know, a command. You know, a full open JSON format. It could be anything, uh, but the Arduino is listening for messages that say that tell it to blink, stop, start or stop. So watch this. I'm going to say uh, start blinking with this API. Look at that. So now we've got the API Skynet. So the the API request went into the Skynet network. Skynet issued a um, a WebSocket command to this device. Well, first off, it looked up the device and got its uh, socket ID, and then it issued uh, a start blinking command uh, to the device in real time. So uh, I'm going to tell it to stop here, and you do that by just basically saying, you know, blink stop, and then the device ID you want to send the command to. So now we just stopped it. Um, but in the idea of the drone network, you know, say you wanted a whole network of drones uh, to, to pass a message to a whole network of devices, or maybe it's a whole channel of, of devices, then you would say instead of the UUID, you would say uh, slash messages slash all, and you'd pass it the start, so watch this. This basically issues the start command to all devices uh, on the network. It actually doesn't issue the start command, it sends a JSON object, whatever JSON object you want to all devices. So you could essentially say, based on the on the data in that JSON object, do different things. I just I just told it that you know when it sees blink, stop or start to you know pay attention. So let me tell it to stop for all devices on the network. Pretty cool. Real time uh, commands via WebSockets and REST API on Skynet.